How do you prepare for life after you're done fighting? We have till about 35, and this can be different depending on who you are and where you started, how young you started, and how you fight, how much damage you take. One of my coaches, Bill Mahood, we always talk about Bill, he said it's not the age, it's the mileage, right? So if you're just taking all the punches to the head from the get-go and your defense sucks and you just want to die on your shield and do it for the crowd, you're probably not going to have a long career. If you're a little bit more defensive and you use some more grappling and defense and blocking slipping, etc. Yeah, you're probably going to do a little bit better and still have some wits about you when you're done. So that's probably the number one thing is like make sure that you're not completely destroying your body and your brain because you're going to need it after, right? So fight smart. Number two is to always be working on something. I wouldn't ever suggest to any of my fighters that they should only think about fighting all the time, right? Like you can only fight, train for so many hours a day. You can only watch so much tape. Okay, and after that, you should be thinking about what can I do now that can start building what I want to do afterwards. I'm not saying you got to go to school or something. I actually think that school is kind of difficult while doing a fight career because of the amount of hours that it takes. One of the keys I believe really helped me anyway to create what I've created after fighting is that I believed fighting was the key. I believed fighting was like a golden key. It's a golden key that will open whatever door you want to walk through. I was always really interested in acting. I was really interested in music and I was really interested in business. Throughout my career, I had written a bunch of songs and I had kind of made some videos. We might have seen some of the videos saying some things about Dana White or whatever. Um, if I wanted to walk through that door, I feel like fighting is the key because it gives you access to a network of people. If you're a high level fighter, a lot of people want to be around you. And then you can use that as you're in into that industry. If you're a high level fighter, we see this with a bunch of fighters that end up doing film afterwards, like the Ronda Rousey's and the Kung Lee's. A lot of producers are gonna want you to be a part of their project. Especially if you can acquire a little bit of name value, it really helps, right? But even just with your fighting style, like to go into a, a career in stunts or something like that would be pretty easy. The door will be open open for you quite easily. And then business. Now business is so vast. You can really do a million things with business, but I feel like that's a real, real easy door to open because a lot of the attributes you need to succeed in fighting are very similar to the attributes you need to succeed in business, right? The combative aspect of it, the comp competition, the grind, it's very, very similar, right? And then if you're a high level fighter, you've got a billion businessmen that are, are wanting to work with you, that are wanting to sponsor you and this and that. So it's really, really easy to start creating some really powerful relationships there that you can then leverage after your career is done. Okay, now there's also a whole lot of people that are going in the wrong direction after they fight, right? Like, why does that happen? Why, do, why are so many fighters ending up addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol, having like domestic violence altercations that are usually fueled by drugs or alcohol? Why do we fall into these addictive traps? I feel like a lot of that is because a lot of fighters place their self-worth on their ability to win in combat. Like a lot of us come from difficult backgrounds. A lot of us have very difficult upbringings. That's why we end up fighting, right? Nobody comes to a career like this most people anyway don't come to a career like this without some darkness behind them. Because of that, we like, we glom onto fighting and we put it at the forefront of our personality. Like, that's why I'm worthy. That's why I'm worthy of love is because I'm this fighter. Because I just won that last fight. And you can see this even when people will then lose a fight, they'll just spiral down, right? They win and it's like, oh yeah, I'm the king of the world. But then if they lose, it's like, like they lost a piece of themselves. Like they're less worthy of other people's attention, of other people's love because they lost that fight. And then if you have that kind of a mindset and then the fights are over, real, real, real bad things can start happening, right? Because then you're searching for that in a bottle. You're searching for that in a pill. You're searching for that in all of these other 
negative places and it leads to really, really bad places. And I've seen this very often, okay? When you're a fighter, you need to realize that the career is short. It's very, very short. So you need to do it in the smartest way you can. You need to look at the entire game like it's a martial art and try to figure out the, the smartest way to navigate all the different avenues of it, right? To navigate your way to the top, to get into the UFC. And then once you're into the UFC, to get ranked and to, be, to get those title shots and to make the most money you can possibly, right? And then you also need to realize that you're worthy of love regardless of whether you fight or not, right? That was, that's your birthright. You were born with that. And if you weren't shown that in childhood, I'm sorry, but I'm here to tell you that that's real. That's real and that's true. You're not just a fighter. You're a, you're a person that happens to fight right now. Okay, so plan for your future because this doesn't last forever. It'd be awesome if it did, but it, it can't. Look at the examples around you because there's lots of them. I've seen many, many fighters come and go and I see a lot of people that afterwards are just struggling and broke and working jobs that they hate. So work to build something. I started a little clothing line when I was fighting, right? I made some rap videos. I, I did a little bit of a foray into film. After I was done fighting, I had all these avenues that I wanted to continue to explore because I always, already got my feet wet a little bit in them. You don't have to commit to 100% um, when you're in your career. You're committed already. But you should dabble a little bit here and there and get your feet wet so afterwards you have a bit of a network of people that are will open the doors that you want to walk through and then you just got to figure out which one of those actually works for me it wasn't film i tried to do the film thing and not that i couldn't have gotten work i was getting lots of work actually but it was just like it didn't work with my life i i, I didn't like being at the beck and call of these auditions all the time and like it was difficult for me to run a fight team and that at the same time, run a gym and, and act at the same time because I wouldn't be able to be here for my fighters. I wouldn't be on the mats all the time. The music thing is like, for me personally, I really like the act of making the music. I think it's fun. Even the performance is fun, but the whole environment in the, in the music industry for me, it just, it, it wasn't for me. It was, there's just so much partying and just so much like late nights. It, it just didn't work for me. For me, I like business, right? So now I've committed to my business. I'm building my business. I'm building my brand. TriStar Gym West Coast, K7759, Edmond Street. If you're in the city, come on down. TriStarWestCoast.com. If you're online, come check us out. And that's where I'm putting my energy now. And it's because of all the lessons that I've learned in fighting and also because of all the, the network that I have because of what I've done in fighting, like so many people want to work with me. It's really easy for me to find other people that are wanting to work with me because of what I've done, right? Because I was able to get to the UFC, it's really easy to get partners and to, to make moves. Think of it like this, fighting, may or may not make you rich. Maybe you, you're smart enough, you can just fight and make millions and millions of dollars like George St. Pierre and not really have to start a business if you don't want to. Not really have to go and act if you don't want to. That's not most of us. Most of us will leave the game with a couple grand and a bunch of injuries and a Rolodex. Okay, a huge list of names of people in different industries that want to work with us, okay? Fighting is the golden key. It will unlock any door you want to walk through if you have that mindset and if you know that truth. And if you're able to avoid the pitfalls that await you if you place your self-worth on your ability to win fights. Really hope that helps you guys. It's really helped me in my life so far and continues to help me. And it's something that I make sure all my fighters are aware of. Okay, so if you don't have a coach that tells you that, I'm here for you. Appreciate you guys. One love. Peace out.